Hi, welcome back. Today is day 35 of my 100 day reality challenge here on YouTube. Uh, it's also Monday, February the 5th. I'm back here uh, after the Super Bowl weekend. I didn't do as much work as I thought I was going to do on my goals as I had intended to do, but I did other things which I feel great about. So um, what I have to report today is just uh, that I'm making progress on my goals that uh, I received a wonderful book from Sandy Grayson, which is, also, which is one of the uh, creators of the 100 Day Challenge, which you'll find on my, my channel here. And you'll see, um, you'll read more about her. But this is the book um, that, I, that she authored. It's an awesome book. I started to read it this weekend. And it's called Journalution. And Sandy um, is uh, uh, explaining in her book how many different ways you can journal and how you can improve your life through journaling. And I've journaled throughout my life, off and on, and uh, half-hazardly, I don't really have a system for it. So I know that by reading Sandy's book, I will, I will push my journaling effectiveness or my journal, the, the, uh, the outcome of my journaling to another level and have it produce more insights about myself and what my passions are as a result of the journaling, because that's really what it's supposed to do. I like to read a little bit of uh, the, the introduction that, that Sandy wrote here uh, and she talks about the meaning of what journalution is. And, uh, and she's got six different meanings here for that word. And they're very inspiring, so I'd like to share them with you. And she writes, she write, <clears throat> excuse me, she asks, the journalution, number one, the act of revealing inner wisdom through writing. Two, the act of cleansing emotional blocks through writing. Three, Journal writing to produce or further radical change from within. That's powerful. Four, a process for becoming free from confusion or doubt. Who doesn't need some of that? Five, a process for discovering or shining in one's passion and purpose. <clears throat> wow. Six, a journey from one place to another, i.e., from where you are now to the life of your dreams. Sandy, this is awesome. If, so, if this doesn't inspire whoever reads this, you know, I don't know what will. But all these reasons for journaling uh, are inspirational, and that's really what, what journaling should produce for us. If we're doing it with the right focus and, and the right intention of um, letting it be like a mirror of our souls and a mirror of what, what is really deep inside of us. Um, same thing as this, this uh, uh, medium is for us. Uh, video logging and video, like uh, Sandy says, this is uh, like a videography also of your of your life, of your world. When you video uh, journal, you you kind of capture your moods, your 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 um, uh, side intentions that you may not you may not capture yourself when you don't hear yourself talk and, and about things. So uh, journaling for me is also another mirror, another way to mirror myself and mirror my spirit and see what I, really my intentions are as opposed to you know, not seeing those things. So it's a way of, of learning more about yourself and about your soul and about your deep intentions and passions. Uh, one thing that I wanted to mention on, on touch on um, as a result of something that I said last week and, and watching that video, I kind of talked a lot about action after I said, you know, if you, if you just do your visioning and your, you visualize or you think about your goals and you don't take action, then nothing's gonna happen. But I think I need to, you know, explain a little bit more about that, or, or at least my point of view. And I wanted to um, clarify that for you, for people that, that watch that video, is that uh, yes, action is important, but I think sometimes uh, it may not be the only thing that we need to do. You know, so I want to re, re clarify that and say that no action is not always the thing to do. Uh, after you visualize, maybe sometimes reflecting is the thing to do, and just sit back and doing nothing and having quiet time and thinking about something before you actually take action on it and um, dwelling on it and meditating on it and whatever it is, uh, journaling on it uh, to see what the, the, real, the real deep cause of something might be or the real deep motivation for something might be. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you that I came across that realization after I heard my own video and talking about action, action, action. And I realized that you know a lot of it isn't about action. A lot of it is about the, the uh, um, what's the right word I'm looking for? It's like the the fertilization of your thoughts and your ideas within you 
and having time for those things to fertilize and to incubate and to digest within you before you can go out and take action on them. And I think what a lot of th things that we're doing here and what Sandy's teaching as well through her journal Lucian thoughts and ideas is that sometimes we have to fertilize the ground, which is our soul, first before we can go out and take action. And that's what I'm getting from, from, from talking about this and from what I said about action. So I hope that, her that helps you out in some way. And... Uh, a friend of mine just recently told me that she was going to start singing again after she hadn't, you know, sang for quite a while. And that's just another way that, that uh, the soul comes out and expresses itself. And so journaling is another way of doing that. So uh, I don't know why I said about the singing, but I think we all have some passions that we, we put aside somehow, things that really uh, inspire us. And for some reason, we put those things aside sometimes. And sometimes those are the things that inspire us the most. The things that nurture us, the writing, the singing, the, the art. If you are in, into art and you, you haven't painted in years, maybe it's time for you to start painting again. You know, or things that you were passionate about at one time. Go back and revisit those things that inspire you. Anyway, that's my, my uh, inspiration or thoughts to share for today. Uh, I'm off to a, in another beautiful afternoon here in Miami. Uh, we had a lot of rain yesterday and kind of cloudy today, but it's still beautiful. Uh, hope uh, this helps someone out out there and uh, thanks for tuning in today I'll be back tomorrow with some more insights thanks again and have a great afternoon God bless, bye